Hello, coin aficionados, and welcome to Phil and Sing Coin Channel. And we have a confusing, collectible, possibly Canadian link to the five peso coins. And it's very, very strange to think of, but two of these three five peso coins were made in Canada by the Royal Canadian Mint. For some reason, when the Philippines uh, first decided to make the five peso coin, they made them in Canada. And of course, it's probably because of the materials, the nickel brass. It's probably because it was easier for the Royal Canadian Mint or another mint to set up uh, these coins than it was the Philippine Mint. But the weird, confusing, collectible part is that in 1996, the Philippines made its own 5 peso coin. So here's the 1995 made in Canada. Here's the 1997 made in Canada. But the 1996 was minted in the Philippines. And how can you tell? Well, there is a way to tell, and it's very interesting. What you do is you magnify it, and you look right here under the shoulder of Emilio Aguinaldo. The Emilio Aguinaldo 5 peso coin, and we can look at it right here. It says Republica Nang Pilipinas here, 5 peso. Down here it says 1996, and we have the scroll work around the outside. This coin has a Philippi the Philippine monogram on it, and the other coins don't. So look under the shoulder here, nothing. Under the shoulder here, Philippine. Under the shoulder here, nothing. So these two end coins were made in Canada, and in 1996, the Philippine Mint, the Manila Mint, uh, made its own 5 peso coin. Now, why did they make them in 1996 and not make them again in 1997? I don't have a clue, other than maybe they just couldn't make quite enough. I think once they moved in 1995, so this 1995 is the first of the 5 peso coins. They changed it from a 5 peso paper money bill to a 5 peso coin in 95. I think they thought they could mint enough in 1996, but it turned out that they couldn't. And so in 1997, they went back to the Royal Canadian Mint. And then 1998, they did about half and half or some portion of them were still made in Canada. So when you're trying to identify them again, simply look right here and you'll see that the, this mint mark indicates that they were made in the Manila Mint in the Philippines. Now, let's look at the back of them. Is there any difference on the back of them? And, and there isn't. Um, this says 1993 and that's the year that the Central Bank put out this series of coins. And as many of you know, after 1995, um, there were some other coins that were put out there were five peso coins. The uh, Flora and Fauna series obviously came out also. But this says Banco Central Nang Pilipinas. Same thing, Banco Central Nang Pilipinas. Both of these are nickel brass. They weigh 7.7 .7 grams, are 27 millimeters in diameter, and 1.87 millimeters in thickness. If you want, we can actually measure the two on a scale. So let's, we got a scale here, and let's turn the scale on. And what we'll do is we'll put the 1995, the first one ever made, and there it is, 7.84, 7.83 grams. And that, of course, is for the 1995 made in Canada. So that was 7.83 grams. What is the 1996 made in the Philippines? Huh. Well, that's interesting. 7.93 grams. So they should be pr relatively similar, right? They should be the same weight. This one's a little beat up, but I don't, and maybe it lost some of its weight. So let's try the 1996 made in Canada. Uh, 1997, I mean. Okay, 7.93 for the Canadian ones, 7. Point for the Canada 1997, 7.9192 for the 
for the 1996, and then it turns out the 1995 seems to be a little bit lower, one-tenth of a gram lower. So I don't think we can actually tell by putting them on the scale, other than it looks like the 95 uh, made in Canada was a little lighter. The 1997 and the 1996 both weighed the same, but this one was made in Canada, and this one was made in the Philippines. All right, that's all we have today from the Phil and Zing Coin Channel. We love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section. And when you get your five peso coins from the 90s, look for the mint mark under the shoulder right here.